Hey Jim, Rayanne, hope y'all are doing great. It is so hard to believe that it's been 32 years uh, since we met back in 1982 in that apartment there at the Heritage Halls uh, our freshman year. Um, wow, where do I begin? First of all, let me just say thanks for the video that you guys sent uh, that we watched at my birthday. It was very touching and very, uh, uh, it's very uh, nostalgic, sort of a trip down memory lane of uh, uh, some things even I had forgotten about. And um, when you think about it, that uh, we were roommates in, in 82 there in Heritage Halls, and we were roommates again back in... Uh, uh, 85 to 86 after our missions there at uh, Pine View and then again at the Can-Am uh, for I guess that was I'm trying to think if that was one year or two years because I know that uh, after you met Rayanne and uh, you know we know what happened there that uh, you left me uh, by my, my lonesome but fortunately I uh, was able to uh, have some pretty good roommates after that uh, but uh, there's still something about that freshman group of ours that uh, will always stick with me. I've uh, always thought that my being placed in that uh, in the midst of that group was a divine intervention. I've got to say it was um, it truly was divinely inspired. Uh, I, I don't think I could have gotten in with a group uh, that would have been better for me at that particular point in my life, uh, with the exception of my roommate the first semester. Was his name Sean? I think it was Sean. You know, we replaced him with Junior, and you know, the rest is history. So when we think about uh, Alan and Ted, and uh, you and me and Junior and Malcolm, just uh, what a great group of guys. And um, some of the things that we did, which you had alluded to, um, from you know, water fights and uh, taunting some of the other people, was just uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm, not sure I'm supposed to mention the lint from the belly button collection at night or not, you know, if you remember that. Yeah, my wife always got a kick out of that. And um, also the, uh, um, our late night when we'd try to pray together and um, you know, we would spend 30 minutes laughing before we could get one single prayer out was, was always great. Um, but yeah, we go back from there to uh, our, other, our other antics, you remember with Bill and Brad <laughs> and some of the things we were going through with those guys when we were in Pine View and then going over to the Can-Am and just all the things we did was it was really great uh, remembering all those and then seeing a few of the pictures that Sherry had got out uh, of us uh, from the different parties and things so just uh, super absolutely super so uh, you know we've changed a little bit over the years uh, although now you'll notice I still have a full head of hair which is more than we can say for some <clears throat> But uh, that being said, um, uh, you know, our looks may change a little bit, but uh, like you had said, you know, the foundation that we have uh, remains the same, and uh, it's, been, it's been great. Uh, I remember when you came over and visited us when we were in Greenwood, and I forgot you were doing something on business, and you were close by, and you made that extra effort to come by. That really meant a lot to me, and Sherry really enjoyed meeting you. And then when you came out here a year or so ago, uh, it was a lot of fun to explain to my uh, kids who you were and how we knew each other and they enjoyed playing basketball with you and enjoyed having you come out to, to watch the basketball game and um, remember um, uh, we tried, I think we sent Junior something, I forget, but uh, so it, uh, we, Sherry and I really do want to, uh, to come out and uh, get Sherry a chance to meet Rayanne and have an opportunity to um, see your family out there and uh, just really uh, rekindle that friendship which has been around for such a long time. So we, um, we really uh, do look forward to doing that sometime soon. Uh, hopefully within the next uh, couple of years we've got things going on. And of course anytime y'all can come out, uh, we're more than happy to have you. We really need to kind of work on getting something scheduled, you know. Uh, I know you guys still got several kids at home too. And, it was nice to receive the note from your, you know, your son who's getting married, to that announcement, so uh, congratulations there. Now, I do know that there was one in particular um, skit that we did our very fresh first, our freshman year, that uh, has a lot of fond memories for us. Uh, when we 
did the skit, and I can't even remember the, the, the dialogue, but there is something that you might be interested, and it might, rec it might uh, spark your memory a little bit. Sure, you may have to back up, I don't know. Does this look familiar to you there, uh, Jim, huh? I'm just trying to see if this uh, shows you anything. Are you thinking, oh my gosh, he's kept those all these years? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not just, um, you know, not just any pair of panties, is it? Um, this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a special pair, huh? Um, to remember those fun times that we had back in, uh, in Heritage Halls. So, on that note, I am going to bid you adieu and um, just wish you well, wish you happy 50th. It's uh, not so bad. Welcome to the club. And uh, all my family says hi. We love you very much. And uh, it is great. Hold on a second. My wife is mumbling something to me behind. I can't even hear it. What are you saying? Okay, she's saying things that she wants me to say, and I, she expects me to be a lip reader, and I can't read lips. Okay, so um, uh, I love you, buddy, and um, again, we look forward to seeing you, and uh, happy 50th, all right?